Hey what's going on guys, today in this quick tutorial I'll show you how to make this blurry card hover effect using Elementor. Here when you hover on any of these cards, it get focused and here you can see at the same time the other cards are getting blurred and also gets a little bit black and white. Cool, right? So without any further ado, let's see how can we make that. Okay, so here I will start everything from scratch. But if you don't want to watch this full tutorial and only want to get this blurry effect as a element template, you can also get this from my Gumroad shop. Okay, so here after downloading this file, you will get a zip file like this. So you just need to unzip this. And inside this folder, here you will get both the container and non container version. So if you are using the new Flexbox container, let's go to here and you need to upload this JSON file to this template upload option just drag this json file to here okay here is this one blurry card hover effect let's just insert this and you can see this template and it also perfectly working so from here if you want to change any of this text you can also do that and if you also go to this navigator view you can see inside each of this container here is also an button so if you also want to add a link with each of these cards you can also do that from this button option Alright, so if you don't want to get this ready-made template, you can also start everything from scratch. So I want to delete all of our, this content and now I want to start it from scratch. So first of all, I want to click on this plus icon and take this four column layout. And before doing anything, I want to make it to full height. So make it to 100 VH and also to place this vertical center, make this align items to the center. And under here, I also want to enable this tab option. So when you enable this option, in that case, if you have more than four containers, that will go on the second line right after here. Okay. Now here inside our this first container, I also want to take an another container. So from here, let's drag this container inside that and let's give it a fixed height, make it to 420 pixel. And inside that, I want to add our image as a background. So from this style option, let's upload an image, this one, okay. We need to adjust its position to the center and also make this size to cover. Then to make the rounded corner, let's also make the border radius. Okay, now that looks good. So after that, inside this container, I also want to add some content. So you can add any content you want, but here I want to add some text, so let's add this heading widget and change this text. I want to make it a small subheading. So first I want to change its color to this dim color and also reduce the font size and make the other changes on the typography. And under here I also want to add an another title. So duplicate this and change this text first. But for this one I want to change its color to fully white and also increase the font size, make it to more bold and also add some line height. Okay, so now we need some spacing on here. So for our this container here, I want to make some padding. On the top, I want to make it to further more, 42 pixel. Here we have give our this inner spacing, but here we also need some outer spacing because we can see there is no gap between these two containers. So let's go to our this parent container and here we need to make its padding 15 pixel. Now that looks perfect. Now here between this text, we need to reduce the gap between them. So let's go to this container settings and here you can see this gap option. I want to make it to 16 pixel. Then here from the style option, I also want to add some background overlay because here you can see this white text. So here as a background, if you use any bright images, in that case, you cannot see that white text properly. So that's why we will use this gradient overlay color. So for the first color, I want to make it to fully black. And for the second one, make it to fully transparent. And instead of make it to full width, I want to make it to only 45% and change this angle. Okay. So now here, this card is already looks good. But here additionally, if you also want to make this whole card a link, you can also do that by using this button widget. If we drag it to here, 
we can see it's as a regular button where you can put your link on here so from here we can change it to an another link okay but here instead of this regular button i want to apply this link for our this whole card so we will do that by applying a simple trick let's go to the style and first of all i want to make its text and the background color to fully transparent and from the advanced i want to make its position to the absolute we can see it now on here so lastly to make it full height and width of this card we need to write some custom css on here and this custom css option is only available on the elementor pro so if you don't have elementor pro you can quickly get this from my link on the description let's paste this code and now from our this preview we can see this link is applied for our this whole card so here you also don't need to worry about this code snippet i will give all of the code snippet to my website and also give the code snippet link to my description so from here you just need to copy and paste that code so right now to make our another cards i just want to duplicate this couple more times and here from the bottom i want to delete this extra container and here i want to change this content to another one also change the background image from here and if you want to change the link for this card you just need to click on here and under this heading here we can see that button for our this card and you can see that link option okay so let's quickly change our this other content okay so after changing all of this content finally we need to add our this hover effect so for this we need to go to our this parent container settings and from here we need to add a class with that card dash focus and we need to add this for all of our discards so for this container let's also add this okay after adding the class with all of these four containers finally we need to add our javascript code so for this from here let's search for an html widget and drag this inside any of these cards and let's simply paste this code now if we hover over on that we can see our this beautiful hover effect so finally i want to check this hover effect on the tablet and mobile devices so on the tablet here instead of four columns i want to make two columns per line so from here go to this layout option and make it to 50 percent and also do the same for the other ones okay and here we also need to reduce the width of our this main container because this card looks so white so go to our this main container and make its width to 580 pixel and we need some spacing on the top and bottom so make it to 60 pixel now this looks good so finally also check this on mobile device here we need to reduce our this container width furthermore so make it to 300 okay now that looks perfect so that's how we can make this clary card effect on your elementor website if you enjoyed this tutorial then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next video